Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. I hope you've had a great weekend. Today I'm sharing a bag with you that I am crazy excited about. When I opened this up, I quickly realized that it was going to be the most perfect bag for spring, summer, especially beach, pool days, sports days, which is what I have it packed up for. It is really like an everyday bag for sure for all of the things. So. I have it all packed up. It's crazy organized, really well packed right now. Um, I just kind of moved everything out of my soccer bag that I was carrying for the kids, which was actually a small utility tote. I'll put a picture of it in here so that you guys can see it. That's another really awesome sports bag. I have the large, medium, and small utility totes, and I use them all the time. Um, this one is just kind of next level, I feel like. It has everything so well organized. We are finishing up soccer season, getting ready to move into basketball season. So this is going to be literally the perfect bag um, for carting around the kids for all of the sports things. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. I have so many fun new pouches in here to share with you. There's just so much. So let's go ahead and start unpacking it. I want to quickly touch on the ways that you can carry this tote. It is a big open bucket tote. As you can see, there's no rings on the side here for messenger straps. It fits really comfortably underneath my arm. The drop length on the handles are nice and it's just a great little kind of like tuck under your arm tote for you to throw and go with everything. There's no pockets on the front here of the bag and there's no pockets on the sides of the bag here. Back here in the back of the bag, which I guess I'll go ahead and start back here since I'm here, there is a little Velcro closure. I actually have a ton of activities for the kids. The majority of this bag is like activities for the kids while they're waiting for their practice or their game or downtime or whatever. Um, so back here in the back, I just have two coloring books. It is a big open pocket, like I said, with that little Velcro closure. It's great for books, it's great for magazines. I feel like I can throw whatever I need last minute in here and just kind of go. I have my book actually downstairs that I'm gonna put in here and probably a magazine as well. This is just another little book for my youngest. This is a play pad that has like puzzles and mazes. Again, like all the things to keep them entertained when they're in between their practices. I have a Sudoku puzzle book and a word find back there. So much more can go in this big old like open back pocket here if I need it to. So now moving in to the big bulk of the bag. It is magic. It's like an organizer's dream. You have eight interior pockets and as i start pulling things out you'll be able to see better but there's three right here you have three back here and then you have two mesh pockets one here and one on that other side so everything kind of has a pocket so it helps it from getting really jumbled up and have everything be a mess um that was one thing that i was finding difficult in some of the like the utility totes for example i love carrying those i've carried them like crazy but sometimes when i throw everything in it it gets kind of jumbled and i have to look a little bit for what i'm needing so this keeps everything kind of like in its place if you will um attached here to just the little um strap area here you do have like an open metal spot where you can hang things if you'd like I will um, tell you, for example, I had my keys, which are actually just hanging out right here in the middle. This is my big O-Venture key ring that you guys have seen a ton of. I did have this um, little clasp attached here in the outside of the bag. I just love kind of how it matched, but my keys are awfully heavy and it was weighing down the side here of the bag. Now it didn't bother me if I'm carrying the bag, but sitting, um, it was kind of pulling there. So I just decided to throw them on the inside, but something like my hand sanitizer, it's a perfect fit out here. It doesn't like pull the bag down or anything like that. So that's what I have attached over here. This is just a Touchland hand sanitizer and I have a little carabiner kind of attached to the silicone case that it comes on just so I can attach it to things. Then back here on this little hook, if you will, I have a Jujube Passy Pod in one of their chromatics colors. This blue matches this print pretty perfectly. Um, and inside here, I just have hair things for my daughter. When she's playing any type of sports or outside, it's it's a mess. So I always make sure that I have extra hair ties, which I have tucked down in here. And then one of these round um, brushes that has a mirror kind of on the side of it. So that fits perfectly inside here. And I can attach it and just have it to grab whenever I need it. Over here on this one, um, the last thing I have kind of attached around the bag is my MZ Wallace link pouch. And inside here, I just have my earbuds. 
They fit great down in there. I can grab them whenever I need them and they're just attached right there. This doesn't weigh it down either. Um, it's like something about the keys, I don't know, but just kind of food for thought if you're hanging stuff around it. Now on to the middle of the bag. I'm gonna pull the things that I just have laying down in here so that you guys can see the pockets really well. Um, let's go ahead and start with this pouch here. Now you'll have to forgive me because some of these I don't know the exact name of them. Um, that the way that it's listed in the catalog. I'll make sure down in like the bar below here that I list out the name of the item, the print or pattern of the item, the um, code for the item, so that when you guys go to the 31 website, you can just type it in the search bar and it will come up right away for you, um, kind of for easy shopping. So this here is a pouch by 31 and it's new to me and it is so good. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one and this one, which I've shared, but we'll get there. So on the front, it's kind of like a triangle, the shape that it's in, which is so unique. And on the front of it here, you have one clear pouch and it actually is the entire height and width of this pouch here. It's just the opening part of it that is a little bit smaller. So as you can see, like I can fit my hand up here. So if you have longer colored pencils or if you have I don't know, paintbrushes or whatever you choose to put in this little like pocket, this clear um, pocket here, you have a little bit of extra room than what is shown here. So under here, there's even more. I mean, there's so much space in here, but I have markers for the kiddos. These are like those magic markers where you color and then you could take the white and kind of go over top of it and it erases it. They love them. They're really fun, especially kind of when we're out and about something to play with. So I have those tucked down in there. I could easily fit more in this particular spot. Then when you open up this pouch, it opens up nice and big and it holds play packs. I was really excited when I saw that it had play packs in here. Now we're almost kind of out at the play pack stage, which is why I have all those other books in the back, but my youngest will still play with them from time to time. I have a deck of cards. I have a couple of these um, great story cubes that are so fun when you're just kind of bored and need something to do. Um, I have a couple of those tucked down in there. I have a couple of just regular dollar store type notepads. And then inside this Oventure um, mini silicone pouch, which I guess I could pull it out here so you guys can see it a little bit better. It's like a soft silicone pouch, but inside here I have a bunch of Disney mini cars for my youngest. These are great at the soccer field. Like they, these will keep him entertained forever. So I have those tucked down in there as well. Right next to that pouch here in the center is a full big old pack of boogie wipes because tis the season for runny nose and allergies and all the things and we use these like crazy, especially outside. Then right next to it here is my big, I wanna say this is a 32 ounce Owala water, Owala water bottle. Um, it is, it's a big one and I have that just kind of sitting up there in the middle. Um, I could easily put additional water bottles obviously in here if I needed to, but the kids usually have theirs kind of on hand. Then right next to that, I have an old product from Jujubee. This is a Be Shady. And in here I have my eyeglasses and then I also have my Limea sunglasses, which are my favorites. So I have both of those kind of tucked down in here and um, this case is like a hard backed one. So it holds them really nice and secure. So that's everything that I had down in the center of this bag. Now you can really see the division of each one of these pockets. They are so awesome for just kind of keeping things where they need to be. Over here in the side um, pocket over here, I'll start with the mesh ones. I have my um, 31 all about the Benjamins wallet. This is a new color for spring, summer. I had a navy one and I actually um, gave it to my sister. So I've been without this style wallet for a little while, but I forgot how much I liked it because it is big and open. It will lay flat for all of your cards here. And then you have a spot over here with a zipper pocket for cash more cards back here. What's great about it is it will actually hold my cell phone, which is over my desk right now, but it will hold it perfectly inside this pocket right here. I have an iPhone 11 Pro, so I can just grab this and carry it as a wristlet if I'm just going in somewhere and don't need to carry like my big bag. Over here in this mesh pocket on the side of the bag is another big favorite of mine from 31. I actually shared it over on TikTok and then I believe over on an Instagram reel. I had it packed up for kids activities and markers and all of that. And I have it packed up this time as a planner bag for myself. Now you guys know, <laughs> I share them in like all my videos. I love the Erin Condren um, Petite Folio System, which is my big kind of fat camel um, leather bound planner that you guys see in a lot of my videos. And I hate to take that to 
like the soccer fields or sports activities because I just feel like it can get wet or it can get dirty or things like that. But I feel like this case just kind of holds the necessities of what I need and I can get it out and I can plan and I can do whatever I need um, if I have downtime or if the kids are just having practice or something like that. I'm tucked in this outside Velcro pocket. I just have a couple of thank you cards just if I need those for whatever. Um, and then I also just have a small little thing of sticky notes to jot down um, whatever I need there. On the back of this pouch, there's no pockets or anything like that. I love this print for spring and summer. I just think that it's really fun. When you unzip it, goes kind of all the way around like that and it opens up nice and flat and it is so good, <laughs> it's so good. And this side over here, I have highlighters, my favorite pens. Um, these are by Sharpie, these are Anacondrum plans pens. This is a simplified planner pen. Then I have my meal planner um, notebook from my folio planner pack that I typically carry around, like that big thing I was just mentioning. I just pulled this out of there so that I can meal plan on the go. I also have a couple of my favorite like functional stickers inside this attached little zipper pocket. I also have a little stencil that does like dots and squares and things like that while planning. Now it's a little bit of a shimmy to get these stickers in here, um, but I have probably six or seven sheets tucked down in there of just dots and vacation planning stickers and things like that. So I have those in there. And then back here in this back pocket, it fits my, um, the planning like calendar portion of my folio journals perfectly. Um, even with the dividers here on the side, like there's no problem getting them in and out of here. Um, I could probably even put another one if I wanted to back there, but I just have this one. And then I also, like I just showed you, have my meal planning one. Those seem to be the ones that if I'm gonna grab this out and do anything while I'm out and about, um, these are the ones that I grab for the most. So I think that this fits perfectly inside here. And I really like using this particular pouch for that. All right, moving along to the pockets that are left on the inside of the bag. There are six, like I said earlier, three here and three here. In these back three, I just have a canister, if you will, of wet ones. These are definitely needed, especially out for sports things. So I have an entire big old pack of them and they fit well right there in that pocket. In this one here, this is a clear clip pouch. Um, again, it's another 31 product and I've shared this a bunch. I think I have one of these in almost like every single one of my videos anymore these days, but this is a new pattern for spring and summer and it's so cute, especially with this particular like pattern bag. Um, I just love it, I think it's really fun. You have a pocket here on the outside, I don't have anything in that. Then in this clear clip zipper pocket here on the outside, I have band-aids, um, little travel sister, sisters, <laughs> scissors, nail clippers, um, I have like lollipops, it's all kind of like first aid things. And then on the inside here, you have a big thermal pouch and I have my son's inhaler tucked down in there, like his chamber for that, um, his like rescue inhaler. Then I have things like my healer stick, which is 100% needed when you have kids in sports. Um, I have some Advil, Neosporin, and then eye drops, just all that kind of thing tucked down in here. So this is like our little like mini med kit. Over here in this pocket, I have my posh um, Big Fat Yummy hand cream, which I always have with me. And then I also have a Jujube medium set piece. I love, again, how this particular color matches this bag. And inside here is all of my like small essentials. I have extra tissues, I have lip balm, I have wipes for my eyeglasses, like my lip products. I have a face sunscreen, which is definitely needed when we're outside. More hair ties, more scrunchies, all that kind of small stuff, nail files. Um, so you get the idea. It's just all of like my small little like mini things that I would typically have like in my small like handbag or something. So I threw that in there. Then over here in this like pocket, I have face masks for our entire family. What's left of them here. Um, I also have another little Advil and a chapstick. It's just kind of like my little grab and go pocket. Um, I have a bunch of extras. Our kids, we are required as adults that aren't playing to wear face masks and our children are required to wear them if they're on the side of the fields um, or if they're walking to and from the field. So we have to always have them, even if we're outside, I always have extra ones because they get really gross and nasty when they're sweating. And then we also have gum tucked down in there. That's in that pocket. Then right here next to it, I have another one of those clear clip pouches. 
This is an older print. I don't think they have this one anymore. This was like last season. They have some really, cute, I'll actually show you guys here in just a second. I have a handful of them. Um, I'll show you here in just a minute, but this one is lemons and it just has wet ones and snacks. This is like our little snack pouch. We had this over the weekend, so some of them are eaten, <laughs> but it's basically just granola bars and all that kind of stuff to eat while we're there. Um, we'll typically have like a cooler also and throw some things in that but that's just little kind of quick grab things. Then I also have over here in this side pocket, oh, hanging out over here, we have mini M&Ms. Almost forgot about those. Those are essential. Probably the most important thing in this entire pack. Um, but then we also have sunscreen. This is just like a kid's sport one. And then I also have um, an insect repellent. Those are must-haves playing sports in Florida. So. That is everything that I have down inside this bag. I wanna give you a good look of it. There's nothing in it and it's standing up on its own. It has really good structure to it. It's soft, it's comfortable to carry. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, I really, really like it. So there is that there. Um, I did wanna show you, like I just mentioned, down here, a couple of the other new patterns. This is a really pretty floral. This is that clear clip pouch. Love this one. I just love all of these colors. They're like definitely my colors. Then there's also a black and white one, which is awesome. And then you also have a peach print in this large zipper pouch, which come on, how flippin' cute is that? And then you have a little snack pouch here. This is just a lined pouch like for a sandwich or crackers or something like that. Um, it's like a big kind of like snack pouch and it's lined in that peaches too, which is so, so cute. So there you have it, a little taste of kind of some of the new 31 stuff. Um, I highly recommend all of them. I'm really excited about this particular release. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I will have the blog post that will have everything linked there since it is a lot today. <laughs> and then of course a link where you can buy um, this essentials tote. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.